Welcome back to DXB Today. Right, it's about time to see who our performer is tonight. Louis, who have we got? Oh, Katie, we have got a global citizen who no doubt is going to be performing globally one day. We've got an Iraqi from Belgium who is now in the UAE, going to perform for us tonight. Sandra Sahi, Hello. welcome to the studio. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to Thank be here. Thank you for joining us in of DXB course. Today. Now, uh, I mentioned that you're a global citizen. Yes. So, is that going to be reflected in the music that you have? Definitely. This is the secret ingredients behind my song, behind my music. Uh, I am this girl who's Iraqi, born and raised in Belgium, Brussels, and I'm, I've been living here now over well over 10 years in the UAE. So this definitely is reflected in my music as I, I sing in all the languages from French, English to Arabic to even a little bit of Spanish oh, that I learned nice. for six years at school. So we got a little yeah. taste of your music earlier on. We cannot yes. wait to hear the full song. Speaking of which, I know it's a new song of yours. Yes, it is. It's just, I just, I dropped it actually on my birthday, which was around three weeks ago. It was 1st of September. Related, happy birthday. Uh, thank you so much. I dropped it on my birthday. That was the first birthday release ever. And and yeah, it's, it's a nice little Afrobeat taste, which is actually, uh, let's say the starter, uh, the, the entree to, to, to the album I'm, I'm currently working on, Ooh. which, which is a, a mix of all those beautiful flavors and Afrobeats as well. Exciting, exciting. But a little birdie told me that you actually come, a, come from a family of musicians. Yes, yeah, I actually so do. Is there a little pressure there to be a musician? There is a pressure, there. there's a constant Performing. pressure there. No, all jokes aside, my, my mother actually sings. My dad has an amazing musical ear. He loves oud, guitars. My brothers, they both know how to play the piano. It's just, we're, we're a very musical and very creative family ever since we were young, basically. And do they get to play a part in the music that you create? Uh, not in the music. I work closely with uh, music producers here, based, uh, I mean, here and also in Sweden and, you know, in Europe as well. Uh, but you know they're very supportive and they're always that you know the entourage that everybody really wishes to, to have they've been always supportive always nice to have family around us Definitely. right we wish you all the best but for people who want to see a bit more of you and find yes. out about your music how can they find you they can find me at at sandra sahi on all the platforms instagram youtube TikTok, um and all the streaming digital platforms as well spotify apple music music etc Wonderful. Well, we're going to let you get ready for Perfect. your performance later. But of course, this is what we've been waiting for. Our very own Katie got to speak with Adam Gilchrist. Cricket fans, this is for you. So excited because today I'm here with none other than Adam Gilchrist, University of Wollongong ambassador and, of course, former international Australian cricketer. How are you? I'm very well, thanks, Katie. Thanks for the intro and, and thanks for the welcome. It's always great to be back here in Dubai. Been coming here many years uh, in a whole lot of different guises, but yep. here at the moment with the University of Wollongong, as you mentioned, have yeah. been brand ambassador, global brand ambassador for about 15 years now. So it's lovely to, to always come back and see this, particularly the new campus here. Yeah, I mean, it's super impressive, the campus we've got here in Dubai. Um, I love the fact that you come to Dubai often. Um, as you say, you have been with, with the whole family as well, and sometimes on your own. What, uh, what's the best thing you've been doing this time around? What have I been doing on this trip? I foolishly got up early in the morning and went for a run, and I forgot what time of the year it was and how hot it is at that, even at 6am, but uh, always great to get back and just look around and see that the development, the change, which is no surprise here in Dubai, but it's just such a vibrant feel. The energy, having not been here for about three years because of COVID restrictions uh, back in my homeland, uh, to get here again, you just feel that vibrant energy and it's, it's unreal. What kind of advice would you give to these university students for wanting to go into their passion and mainstream sport? Look, I think I was blessed, I was born into a family of teachers. Both my parents were teachers. Uh, two of my older siblings are teachers. I was um, encouraged by my parents to, to pursue that sporting desire, but also um, balance that with pursuing education. And, and certainly I think that's a key message. Yeah, what I find is in this region and, and the subcontinent, just the messaging that you can pursue both. You can balance both. It's about a balance. Uh, and, and that's certainly something we try to incorporate in the university through our courses and then opportunities, be they sports scholarships or, or just being a part of sports clubs. Um, so, yeah, really, really important 
component to, to keep in mind and, and you don't have to necessarily make a choice. And what about the cricket scene then in Dubai? I mean, it's phenomenal, isn't it? And I'm guessing all the times you're coming here, you're just seeing it grow. Yeah, without doubt. And uh, you know, obviously the ICC has been based here, you know, the international governing body uh, for a long time. And I guess just the whole region, the UAE region. Um, obviously Abu Dhabi's got a great stadium and Sharjah's been hosting cricket since the 80s uh, and I played test cricket and one day cricket there uh, and yeah it's just again it's a bit like what I described about coming to Dubai it's just a vibrant feel to the cricket community here. Adam, oh, I, was Adam I can't call you Adam, Gilly I well, just I was gonna say I thought am I in trouble it's only Adam when it's from my, my mum or my wife when I'm in trouble so okay. yeah. And I am neither right. of those people yeah. so Gilly thank you so much thank you for coming to Dubai again and of course your ambassadorship with the university and thank you very much we'll see you very soon. Pleasure, great to chat. So basically, I am best friends with Adam, Adam Gilchrist. Um, well, at least you worked out by the end of your chat with your best mate what to actually call him. <laughs> <laughs> it felt really weird to call him Gilly, by the way. So like, but no one knows him as Adam. It's a weird one though. It's, 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 it's sportsmen, isn't it? They just, they sort of, everyone knows them by their nickname. Yeah. Uh, but true. yeah, what a sportsman, no, a legend. So good. Got bloke, eh? Very, very lovely. Now, don't forget that was only just a snippet of my interview with him, by the way. You can watch all of our exclusive interviews, unedited apparently, on our YouTube page, plus all of the behind the scenes from the studio as well. So make sure you are subscribed. Now, don't forget, you have to follow us as well on our Instagram. And when you're posting something, use that hashtag DXV today so we know what's happening in and around the city. Join us again tomorrow as we kick off the weekend and bring you the very best of Dubai's dining scene, something for the weekend. Uh, girls, it's been an absolutely amazing evening. Thanks very much indeed Thank for uh, getting back together, putting the band back together. Uh, and talking of the band, what better way to sign off than with Sandra Sai. Take it away, Sandra.
you here by my side Baby, I haven't slept through the night God knows the way both have cried I still want you here by my side